when George Bush Sr., the President of America, gave us a charge about uh, 19, 20 years ago. He said, cost a mission to Mars. Tell me how much it will cost to go to Mars and bring the astronauts back. And it became clear after a huge uh, effort that the greatest element, segment of the cost comes from mass. You reduce the mass, you will have reduced the cost of the mission. Direct relationship. Now, you and I know if you send one kilogram to even low Earth orbit, 400 kilometers, it's huge. Lakhs and lakhs of rupees. Would you believe it could amount to 40 lakh rupees? 8 kilogram. Air, water, food, whatever you are taking, any system. So your first challenge students is reduce the mass. That comes with so many other problems that you will not even believe. First, strength of the structure. You reduce the mass, obviously you have made it more fragile. I have seen, I, don't, I I'm not going to give you the stories, but being, I've been involved with Apollo, then with Skylab and so on and so forth. I've seen structures that got destroyed here on the earth, which we had made for space. Why? Because those structures are so feeble that at 1G, they can't stand. It hit something and destroyed. Huge amount of money lost. So that's not the only thing. Then you have the difference between pressure from inside to outside as soon as you hit outside, right? For example, on the moon there is no air. Inside air wants to go outside, causes enormous amount of pressure on your structure. Same thing with low Earth orbit or, you know, in the case of Mars, it, you might have a little bit of relief because Mars has some environment. Thoda hai. Gravitation start to come. Now, People are right now, for example, SSS Ping from MIT, Nobel Laureate in Physics, is looking at antimatter. What is antimatter? Matter has weight. Antimatter may or may not. Matter has mass. Antimatter probably doesn't have. When they combine, they give something massless, some kind of an energy. So he is looking for antimatter as we speak. There is an experiment on International Space Childhood. I'm fighting this force. My bones are getting stronger. My muscles are getting stronger, right? I'm running. My heart is getting stronger. All these things are happening. And I have no idea that I owe this to this 1G. Sir Isaac Newton did us a great service. Huh? But I, Apple falls, it's gravity, blah, 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 blah. Rest is history, right? What are you going to fight when you are in space station? Take for instance Sunita Williams. Her first mission was six months, a few days. She set the record for women in space. Huh? What's she fighting? All life she has fought 1G. There's nothing to fight. There's a few milli G. You have to calculate because anytime you have mass, you have some G, milligram, milli G. So she is floating. Her muscles are getting weak. Muscles get weak, we call it muscle atrophy. Huh? Then, muscle get weak, the bone gets weaker because the bone doesn't get its nutrients, such as calcium, potassium, other nutrients.